Hey everybody, this is Matt from Option Omega. Thank you for checking out the video. Today we're going to look at high delta and low delta option trades and how in the Option Omega Backtester you can kind of massage or some would say handicap these trades to make them more akin to the way you want them or maybe more akin to what you've seen uh, in your own personal trading. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've got a, uh, in the money strategy pulled up here. So these are, we've got four different ways to pick out strikes. Okay. You can use any of these four options. We're going to use Delta, which is by far the most popular. And we are looking at uh, a 60 Delta and 55 Delta, and we are going to be long a call spread. If we hop over to our broker and look at the market right now, as I'm making this video, we're at 37.69. And if we go out uh, about 45 days, so this is the 43 day strike, you can see that um, if you look at the deltas here, and <clears throat> some of the brokerages have a little bit, a little bit different deltas, but 60 delta strike right now is uh, 3,700 for this. And again, we're at 30, 3767. So 60 deltas in the money. 3700 and if you look at it there's uh 18 contracts that have been traded open interest is 116 which is not a ton okay so back to the back test so we're doing 60 delta 55 delta we're going to turn on exact dt for this one we're not going to make a lot of other changes um let's see that's let's do that 100k for starting funds 20 percent margin 945 is fine daily's fine we're going to take an aggressive 10 percent profit target and we're going to let it lose it let's shut it down at 30 percent okay here we go so we're going to test two years of data again we're doing in the money on a spread and as you can see, uh, we have a pretty high max drawdown, but uh, we've got a 21% CAGR. And so I didn't particularly manipulate this trade to try to get it to look really good. I bet, I bet you could make changes to make both those look even better if you spent some time with it. That's not the point of the video. What we want to talk about is, that actually didn't do as well, <laughs> what we want to talk about here is... Um, ways to take this trade and because it's a higher delta trade than a lot of people trade want to take ways to essentially modify it or some would say handicap it to make it more quote unquote real life or make it more similar to what they're trying to model remember back testing is historical it's backward looking we don't know what the market's going to do but we have a ton of options here that you can massage this and make it look a lot of different ways so the first thing we're going to do the first thing is this right here require two consecutive hits of profit target and i use this almost all the time in my personal trading not a recommendation but when i'm modeling back tests rather not in my trading i use this almost all the time in my back testing uh to try to get uh, consistency. So we're gonna check that. And then we're gonna put on some slippage because as you could see from the volume, there wasn't a ton of volume and SPX is one of the most liquid tickers for volume, okay? But that particular strike with these um, higher deltas, there's not as much liquidity. So we're gonna put 10 cents both the front and the back. And we're also gonna make sure we add some commissions. And I think when you do this, you're going to see it change from a 21.6% CAGR and an over 30% drawdown. So let's take a look and see. Again, we're testing this over two years. And yeah, that makes an enormous difference. Let's do this. Let's take off the two consecutive hits of profit target. Not because I want to eliminate them. <clears throat> I just want to see how big of a difference that makes. So for trades that you're doing, yeah, that makes a huge difference. So, so the way it works, just to explain it again, and we have a separate video on this, but the way it works is it will look in this case for a 10% profit. And once that's met, it will look ahead to the next minute since we're using one minute data. If the profit target is met, it will consider it met the first time. If it is not met, it will not count it as a profit target hit and it will keep looking. So if you're trading spreads that are very high delta, 
or even single leg contracts, ways that you can modify the test and massage the test include make sure you have your commissions in there, which is kind of for all tests, but um, adding some slippage and requiring the two price targets to be hit is a good way of modifying it and massaging, handicapping, customizing the trade uh, to make it uh, a little bit more uh, like you possibly want to see. So again, this, this same, this same discussion applies if we were trading extremely low deltas. So very out of the money in this case for the call spread, they'd be very out of the money. So for very in the money or very out of the money options, we have so many different things you can do in the tester. These are some ways we have built in that you can customize your trades. Thank you. Uh, optionomega.com. If you click on this button on our website, you will get a link to a custom discord invite and that, uh, discord invite you can join whether or not you're a uh, subscriber. If you're interested in subscriptions, we have monthly and annual subscriptions. And, uh, we also have a free trial one year only of data in QQQ, but you can check out the tester that way. So thanks for watching the video.